guys, Miss Charlie here with an unboxing. I purchased the new Davina products that came out for Black Friday and I recently got them and wanted to show them to you. I'm also going to do swatches in this video because I just opened it and I haven't taken them out of the their individual sleeves and put them in the palette yet as you can see. But I'm just going to show you what I got and then we'll go on and I'll show you swatches. But this is her new collection. Um, this is Fantasia with a PH. I love the unicorn. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is her first palette. Uh, most of her things are all done in singles. Um, these are still singles, but you can't get these individually. Now, maybe she'll do that later on. But right now, this is just a palette that you put together. Um, a lot of places will do this. We'll send you the singles separately and then you just put them in the palette. Um, but you can't buy these singles separately. They're only for this palette. So again, that's the palette and it's gorgeous. It's Davina on the back. And then also she came out with these um, eye bases. This is the um, Privet, Provit, yeah, Provision. And this one is the Spectral. And this is the Sparkle and Shimmer glue, bla glue Base like a glitter glue. And this one is an eye base. So I got both of those. And you get those in a set, which I think is great. And look at the packaging. It is holographic, which is gorgeous. And there's Davina. And there she is there on the, on the front. I love that she used her image on them. But we'll open those in a second. And then these are the shadows, which we'll look at in a minute. But we'll open these brushes. She came out with her first brush set, which I was very excited for. And she did it with um, people with hooded eyes or older eyes, um, or people that have folds in their eye eyelids. She took that into account because that's the way her eyes are. And you don't see a lot of brushes that cater to people that have those that do, that need that have those needs for um, eyeshadow application, you see average size brushes, you see um, larger brushes, and then you kind of see in between, but you don't see something catered just towards people with hooded eyes or older mature eyes or have you know um, creases in their eyes. Sorry about the noise, that's Brandy, um, but. I was so excited when she said she was coming out with brushes and this is it is the lid Lux mastery brush set we're gonna open it up here she has it in tissue paper black and red tissue paper yes that is her and here is the set and then it comes with a little card that tells you the different brushes and what their intention is but you can use brushes any way that you like so these are the brushes here we'll open it up and you get 10 and they're all in individual sleeves Let me bring it down a little bit more so you can see them better this one is the D 101 it's like a small pencil Brush. This is great for detailing. I use pencil brushes like this. I have one right here that I use. This one is from Morphe. This one is a little bit bigger, but you can see it's real small for detailing, which I like to do for like cut creases and things like that. This will get a lot of use. This is the D105, which is like a flat shader brush. And I do use brushes like that too. I've been using the Singe brushes ever since they came out. And this is about the same size. This one is a little bit longer and fluffier. But it will do the same thing for like packing on shadow and things like that in a smaller area. So yes, that will also get lots of use. The D108. This one is, let me see what she says this one is. The D108 is a detail blender for crease outer V lower lash blending. I wouldn't use this on my lower lash, but I would use this for my outer corner and my crease. The D108 
D104. This one reminds me of the Singe E05. They're about the same there. I use this for um, blending out smaller areas or blending in like my lid shade and my outer corner shade. That's what I use this for. The D102, which is a mini detail oval, which is something that I already use as well. Let me find it here. Where are you? Because I have a little thing here that I keep the brushes that I use all the time. And I keep them in this one little container. And I don't know where that one is. I don't see it right this second. But I have, oh, here it is, right here in front of me. This one, I believe, is a Morphe, and it's about the same size as that one, which is good for inner corner, also for precise cut crease, things like that. So that will get good use. The D103, which is a small detailer for lower lash. I could use this for lower lash, so this one kind of reminds you of this one again. This one is just a little bit longer. But yeah, I use this for a lower lash line to blend out. So that's what that'll be used for. The D106, which is for some mini smudge, which I would use for smudging the lower lash line or for if I want to place something in a small area um, shadow. So that will be used, well, all of these will be used, I should say. Um, D107, which is the mini shader, another mini shader brush for packing that on. The D109, which is a detail blender, which is about the size of the Singe E02. This one is a little bit more fluffy though, but they, they will do the same job. And then the D110 which is a small shader detailer, which reminds me of my little, where's my little blue brush? This is my little brush. It's, the name is, is, is all worn off, but I think this was a Luxie, Luxie brush, I think, but it's about the same. This one is a little bit smaller, but this is what I would use to put on like a multi-chrome, a duo chrome or whatnot, and I would spray it and use it for that. So this was what this will be used for. It's just a little bit bigger than my little blue brush. But those were all the brushes and I'm excited to have them and try them and I will probably do um, maybe a few looks using this palette. So that will come soon. But these are the shadows and I will just show them to you in the packaging because then I will show you swatches. This one is in show you the name here. This one is in Astrea. And we have Mangus, which is a matte. This looks like a plummy, smoky, plummy matte. And we have Frostbane, which we can see is a, a bit of a changeling there. I see purple, I see blue, I see a little bit of teal and pink. Then we have Rockstar, which looks like a, a duochrome. Might be one of those red browns, can't really tell, but we'll, we'll find out in the swatches. Um, Ember Rain. Let me move this light a little bit, maybe, yeah, there we go see that one there and we have Lucius which is a matte it's a nice berry smoky berry matte um, Cassius which is a lavender matte I think this one is matte and then Storm Rider. That's gonna be pretty. That's gonna be real pretty. Um, we have Starborn, 
which is like a green teal maybe have some pink in there or purple fire fire gaze it's a peachy I know it's going to have some gold in there I'm sure but it looks it's a lot pe very peachy maybe some pink in there too then we have confetti kisses this is one that I picked up extra confetti kisses I got this one extra because I bought I bought the palette and then I bought a couple other singers singers singles and confetti kisses was one of those singles that I bought and then I got mystic moon pie which she talks about a lot and I had never gotten it I've been with Davina for years and I had never gotten mystic moon pie so I went ahead and got it and that is really pretty and I think there was one more of these that I had gotten as well that was extra but I'm gonna show you of the swatches I'm gonna open these up put them in the container and show you the swatches but I wanted to show you that I picked up the new Davina collection if you did let me know let me know your thoughts if you are wanted to get into Davina I do have swatch videos on my channel of her shadows that I have in my collection I will link all of those below but that is it um, thank you so much for coming and watching we'll get to the swatches and again I will do maybe one or two looks later on using this collection using the brushes and everything like that but again thanks for hanging out with me um, make sure you like share and subscribe to Instagram and here on YouTube and let's get to these swatches.